Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscurian JOPD and for today what I have in here it is Attack on Titan 2. So this game was developed by the Omega Force and they are using their internal solution, their internal engine that they had created for the first game but somehow they decided to make some improvements logically to the engine making it a little bit more interactive and with better graphics. So talking about graphics, this is the settings that I need to play in this laptop. So 720p, it's the minimum minimum you can go for. There is no resolution scaling, there is no support for custom resolutions lower than that. So 720p, it's the absolutely minimum. So as for the settings, all the settings are pretty much set to the minimum settings possible too. There is no shadows, all the stuff is at its minimum. And unfortunately, the the performance is, uh, well, not quite what I was expecting. The game performs pretty much between the 20 frames per second and the 30. However, every time you slice a shroud off a titan, what happens is the frame rate do drop to something like 13 frames per second or 12 frames per second, 15 frames per second. Well, the 1% low in here says 16. But I can assure you that the game do drop to something like 15 frames per second every time you kind of slice a titan because that is blood all over the place when you do it and somewhat those effects really punish a lot this laptop. Although that's not really a big deal in my opinion because those moments are hardly any playable. So most of the game basically will run between those 20 to 30 frames per second. So what I'm going to do for the rest of this video is just play a little bit on this uh, chapter 1 episode 2. I will beat up a big titan. But I want to talk about some things that do concern me a little bit with this game. Uh, especially the PC version. So this game is on Steam right now um, selling uh, for 70 euros. Well, mostly, uh, AAA titles on my country are sold by 60 euros, and a decade ago they were sold at 15 euros. So, what I notice is, near, is that a decade ago it was 15, right now most AAA titles are sold at 60, and we are not even include, including those DLCs, expansion packs and microtransactions that games now do tend to bring with their games, and now we have this game, which they are asking for 70 euros on Steam for this game. Uh, this is something that concerns me because I know that anime lovers and probably fans from the, this series will eventually try to do everything they can to buy this game, whatever the price. Although, what do concern me about this is that uh, big companies like EA, Ubisoft, and Activision, for example, that tries to to get as much money as they can for their games, might see this as an opportunity to start to sell their own AAA titles for 70 euros. So I think this is uh, a kind of a big lack of respect from Koya Tecmo, which is the publishers behind this game, because they are. Uh, assaulting your wallet for being a fan of this game. Let's imagine that you are a fan, and probably you are if you are watching this, you are a fan of a Tycoon Titan Nim, and for some reason you always waited for this game, and then they slide you up, hoping, asking for 70 euros for this game, where no other AAA title is doing it. Well, aside from those games uh, from Microsoft Store, like Forza, uh, like Quantum Break at release, they were asking for 70 euros too. But they had a good excuse that it was if you had an Xbox, you also had that game on your Xbox. So it was pretty much two copies. But this game, it is just you pay 70 euros just to get this game. And this game, in my opinion, it's very well done. I'm not going to to put down the quality that this game has or not. That's not really the case. The thing is, this is no big game out there to worth that 70 euros. This is... Uh, how can I say that? This is not really a big innovation. This is near... very close to the first title. Okay. There are some big innovations, like the buildings now can get destroyed. There is a lot more interactive. There is a lot of cutscenes. Of course, this game, it was expensive. But 70 euros for this game, for me, it's a lack of respect 
and uh, this is something that uh, you should really consider if you want to buy this game for this price or not because you might be supporting the rest of the industry to try to do the same thing and starting to put their game their price tags the other games trying to put their price tags to the same price tag as this as this one because they will see that many fans are buying this game for these 70 euros and probably ubisoft and the EA games might think something like hmm these guys are paying 70 euros for that sh for that game why can't i pay s why can't i ask for 70 euros or even 80 euros for our games so this is something that really concerns me with this game but apparently I was taking a look on Steam page and I looked that the first game that was released um, in 2006, two years ago, they are still asking 60 euros for this game. This is a price of a AAA title from today. So in my opinion, I'm not really sure what the hell is happening with this game, why the games from this uh, developer slash publisher are so expensive. But for me, this really shows a lack of respect for the anime fans that like this game. I, I don't think this game works that much. So I think that's all that I want to talk about uh, this game and uh, all this stuff because this this really concerns me. The price of games have, uh, have keep on rising uh, year, uh, I mean decade after decade. Of course, these games are getting more and more expensive and publishers are trying their best to ask the gamers to pay more and more and you can see that with the DLCs, with the microtransactions but uh, seeing games like this that brings nothing new to the table asking for 70 euros and people still buying it that really concerns me a lot, okay? so it's just uh, my personal thoughts on this game I have nothing against this game I think this game is actually pretty cool but its price it's far from perfect, okay? So guys, that's all that I want to talk. The game just runs between the 20s and the 30s. And that's it. Thank you a lot for watching. Hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video. And I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. お前らか。これ絶対できる。俺はもう死ぬのか。誰か救援を頼む。補給は済ませたな。よし、ここから離れるぞ。待て。巨人が一体こっちに近づいてきてる。
ほっとくわけにはいかねえなここで仕留めるぞ助かったぞ感謝する訓練兵俺は砲台を起動し援護に回る。他のやつよりヤバそうだ